Our first guest is joining us from San Diego, California, Mr. Brian Milholland. He's the president of Solar Integrated Roofing Corporation, SIRC is their stock symbol. Great to see you again, Brian. Hey, good to see you too, Don. Now, you guys just made an acquisition. You put out some press about that. Tell us about this. <clears throat> yeah, we just uh, closed on Interrev. They're uh, a marketing and sales uh, organization. They've had great success in the past, and we're, so we're looking to drive our uh, installation numbers and revenue, of course, up uh, with that acquisition. Well, you guys have been growing both organically and by acquisition. When you're targeting an acquisition company, what criteria are you looking for? Well, we're looking for uh, you know, a division that we want to add to our portfolio. Um, you know, it's been announced recently that we're trying to target EV charging. Uh, so that's something we see tremendous growth in. Uh, we've been doing it uh, organically, but we'd really like to just jump it to the next level. So somebody that has you know, all the in-house uh, engineering and systems in place to be able to just uh, hit the ground running um, and, and uh, be able to really target that market is uh, something we're looking for. Well, it's been decreed by executive order by the governor who we were talking about in the monologue that all gas powered vehicles will be gone by 2035 going all electric. So EV charging stations, as you said, are gonna be a huge growth period. Yeah, EV charging stations are gonna grow tremendously. Um, we've been involved with EV charging at uh, Millholland Electric since the uh, introduction of the Nissan Leaf, you know, many years ago. Uh, we were, were one of the initial contractors who were installing home charging stations for that. But we'd like to uh, expand that into the commercial realm also and do public and private uh, EV charging stations. Now, going back to the acquisition, uh, what do you, how do you see that uh, working within the company? They're going to move into your headquarters? Are you going to be operating them from the far? How's that going to work? Well, they're going to continue operating in, in their existing headquarters. Uh, and of course, we have office space that they can use as need be. Um, so, you know, we're looking at them helping us drive our existing sales, plus then being able to take over the installations that they've, they've been doing. Uh, so the installation part of it, the operations part of it will be handled uh, in-house, but their, their sales and marketing division is just very robust and, and can stand by itself. And so we're not going to mess with that currently. Uh, previous acquisitions have also acquired databases of existing customers that you can go back out and market to. Is that the same with Enviro? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, you know, the, the, existing, um, the existing culture at Interrev are, already has a lot of uh, systems in place. They have a lot of uh, connections that we're going to leverage to just help increase our overall sales. Now, I know the company is going through an audit right now. What's the status of that? Yeah, so we're just down to the, you know, the final items that they're requesting. Uh, it, it really rolled together, you know, a number of com companies to do a combined audit. So it wasn't just an audit of one set of books. It was, you know, combining multiple sets of books uh, in multiple companies over multiple time periods. And uh, we're just down to the final pieces. Uh, you know, uh, Dave Massey, our CEO, has, has told me that we really expect to have that completed by the end of February. And of course, this goes before an uplisting effort. Um, yeah, that's the idea, right? Continued growth, yeah. Well, as you folks have been growing by acquisition and growing organically, as I mentioned before, an audit takes on an entirely new personality, doesn't it? It, it certainly does. You know, there's, a, there's just a lot to it to try to roll all these companies together, put all the books together. Um, you know, there may be people at the company that, that don't have insight as to what happened two years ago. So trying to, um, it, trying to audit those items and to uh, recover some of the, you know, questions that they have can, can take a while to, to get to the bottom of. Well, the market has most certainly been noticing because your stock price has accelerated dramatically in the last couple, three months. Any comments on that? Um, yeah, it's finally getting to the point, uh, you know, where they're actually valuing our company to, to where it needs to be. So we're starting to realize an actual value rather than the undervalue that we had seen for, for years. Now, with all of these things going on simultaneously, what's your outlook for 2021? Yeah, so we really, um, we definitely expect to hit the numbers that we published uh, for 2021. Uh, and as we continue uh, acquisitions, you know, those numbers are just going to continue to increase. So uh, with the current political situation that we have, you know, the um, need for energy efficiency and for electric and storage and EV charging and solar, you know, just the sky's the limit on, on the need for all of those things. 
Once again, Solar Integrated Roofing Corporation, SIRC. Brian, extremely exciting uh, developments with the company. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me on, Don. It's always good to see you.